Hello students, welcome to lecture of kinematics and theory of machine. Myself, Professor Silas Patel, and we are going to continue our numericals from the Kamen follower. And uh, in this lecture, we will uh, cover the uh, roller type follower, which is uh, offset. Okay, so let's start this uh, example. So you can see the given data here. Uh, construct. Uh, Profile of cam suiting the following specification. Okay, the cam shaft. This is our first time the cam shaft related some data is there, uh, which is 40 mm cam shaft diameter. Remember that in cam profile, cam shaft diameter is doesn't related because they always give because drawing of the cam, we need the least radius or base radius this is the 40 mm given for the confusion of the student make so to make the student confused between these two data okay remember that camshaft radius is not important for us we are not using this data at any point okay because we make the cam profile on least radius of cam after that uh, roller diameter uh, is a 25 so radius will be 12.5 angle of lift is a 120 theta 1 angle of fall or angle of return remember that it is given here angle of fall means return is a 150 lift of follower is a 40 rise or stroke is given 40 mm number of poses are two equal interval so the dual total remaining angle is divided into two equal parts and consider will be theta 2 and theta 4 okay dual angles during the lift lift there is a simple harmonic motion and during the fall the motion is uniform acceleration so remember that during rise simple harmonic motion during return uniform acceleration so after that you can check the speed of the camshaft is uniform line of stroke is offset with a 12.5 from the center of the cam okay so you uh, take all the data required from this given okay so check this lift is a 40 120 and how we will get here check this how we will get this dwells theta 2 and theta 4 is not given directly they give the rise angle 120 return angle 150 and they say number of poses are two equal parts between the motions between the motion so 120 plus 150 it is a 270 and remaining angle is a 90 so divided 90 by 2 so 45 45 theta 2 and theta 4 is a 45 45 okay you can check here base radius is given here and roller radius check this roller diameter is given in example but roller diameter and i am writing here rr roller of radius sorry radius of ruler so it will be 12.5 okay let's start so first of all we have to make the displacement diagram which will be same as the last example remember that this total length will be 18 centimeter and height will be 14 centimeter because it is given lift as a 40 centimeter okay then you will divide this rise and return this rise and return in six parts okay this length you know that this length will be 120 divided by 20 so it will be 6 centimeter here and you can check this there is a dual portion is given here this is the dual portion here and here the dual portion okay so after that we are going to start the cam profile and this is the lengthy or uh, I guess so in all the cam profiles roller with offset is the lengthiest or I can say a very confusing type because there is a three circles are there 
you know that in an IFH only base circle is there. In roller with a radial means line of action pass through the center there is a two circles which you know that base circle and prime circle and you but in a roller with a offset there will be the three circles offset circle base circle and prime circle let's start so first of all make the base circle diameter is given here 25 so radius sorry radius is given 25 so 50 mm diameter of base and the roller radius is given okay 12.5 but i am not going to draw here you can draw dry, directly prime circle by adding these two values which value add these two value 12 plus 12 point sorry 25 plus 12.5 Okay, so it will be 37.5. Okay, and you can make the radius of 37.5 directly here and you will get the prime, you will get the prime circle. Okay. So now I have make a, make, made here prime circle by adding this two value 37.5 and now I am going to draw the offset circle 12.5 offset circle okay at a center so this will be 12.5 radius okay radius or 12.5 so this is the three circles first is a offset circle base circle and outer is a prime circle now same as a, in a knife edge offset what you what you have done in a knife edge offset first of all make the horizontal line then vertical line and whenever it intersect at a prime circle this will be your point main first point means zero point will be here and we have to connect this point to the center okay like this and it will be the reference line like is a like in a knife edge you have taken the all partition from this point okay so this is our reference line and you can make the first circle here here you can make the first circle because we get the first point here so you can draw the first circle at the center and connect this center at a chem center and you will get the reference line okay and all partition we will make from this like first angle is a 120 and then 45 so i am making this 120 here something and then 45 and after that 150 is there so 150 so i have make this four partition here check this you can first 120 second 45 and third 150 and this remaining will be 45 so after that you know that what we have to do divide the rise and return in a six parts rise and return i have divided rise and this return in a six parts and then i have to make the tangent from these uh, points and which must uh, contact with this offset circle okay so check this like When you draw this tangent, this line, you don't know what will be the length of this tangent. So make sure they are uh, in a larger length. So you can give this point A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So we will get these points, okay, here on this line like B, C, D, E, 
F and G on this line and then we are going to make the circle on every point and then we will connect same as an roller okay so this will be your cam profile so this is your cam profile for the roller offset i will revise you again first of all we have to make here three circles you can check this three circles are there first is a offset circle second is a base circle and last and outer circle is a prime circle okay then we have to make here horizontal line and vertical line whenever this line vertical line intersect the prime circle this will be the point when where you will make the first circle here this will be the first circle here okay and connect this circle to the center okay you will connect this circle to the center here and all the partition like this is our first partition second partition and check this last partition theta 1 you can check this theta 1 is a 120 theta 2 is a 45 theta 3 is a 150 up to here and remaining is a 45 so all partition will be with respect to this point remember that always connect this first roller to the center and it will give you reference line and with respect to that you will measure all angle from in a anti clockwise direction okay and after that you know that you will get this points here on a prime circle like this 4 5 and 6 same as in return 0 1 dash 2 dash up to 6 dash okay and all points on a prime circle remember that prime circle and after that you will measure this distance here from 3 to d like this and you will put center here and arc will be there and you will get this d same as for 2e this distance take from distance here 4 to e take this distance measured or using compass 4 to e same as 5 to f 5 to f so that's how you will get the all these points ef and make circle at every point here and draw the profile which is smoothly touch every circle in a profile okay that's it thank you